Hey everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear, and today I have two machines to do a comparison with. We've got the Diletta Mio and the Escaso Steel Duo. So these are two machines that look a little bit similar on the surface, but they're actually quite a bit different, but uh, it's still worth comparing them because they're probably two machines that you're gonna be looking at if you're shopping for an espresso machine in this range. So the Diletta Mio comes in at a little bit less expensive than the Steel Duo. Uh, they're still comparable, but you uh, you get this one for a few hundred dollars less generally at the time of this recording compared to the Steel Duo. The Mio has a single insulated boiler for brewing, and then it has a, a thermal block that you can turn on and off for steaming. So you've got that insulated boiler. It's got pit controlled temperatures for that brew boiler, so you're going to get really consistent temps. And a short water path means that you should get really good water temperatures throughout the brewing process. And then you get that, uh, that that steam thermal block that you can kick on for your steaming needs and turn off when you don't need it. And it's going to let you do brewing and steaming simultaneously. It's also got, like I said, that PID control right here. So you can easily adjust the temperatures. This is also going to give you a shot timer. You have your brew gauge down here for the pressures in the boiler. You've got your OPV valve adjustment up here as well. So if you don't know what that means, it's basically just a way to tweak pressures at the brew head. So don't worry about it too much if you're not familiar with it, but it's definitely something if you're into tinkering with your espresso and really getting everything out of your shot, it's nice to have that easily adjustable option right there uh, at the front of the machine without having to open it up. Uh, otherwise, it's very simple to operate. You're just going to push buttons to turn on the brew, and then you've got a switch back here to turn on the steam circuit, which you'll activate then with the button here. It's pretty limited on programmability other than that, uh, but it's easy to use once you kind of develop an understanding of how to work with it. The Steel Duo, on the other hand, is going to be called that because it has two thermoblock heating elements in it. So these thermoblocks are gonna heat up pretty quickly, but they're not necessarily gonna offer quite the same level of temperature stability that you would get out of the uh, insulated boiler in the Mio. But still, with two of them, you're gonna be able to steam and brew simultaneously, just like on the Mio and uh, it's going to offer its PID controlled temperatures for the brew boiler, which is gonna keep temperatures there consistent, even if uh, they're not quite as consistent as what you would get from an insulated boiler. You've also got this nice wood furniture. It's got the gauge right here as well, and you have an adjustable OPV valve here on this machine as well. Uh, some nice things that this one has that the Mio doesn't is it's got a dedicated hot water spout right here, so that's nice to have. And it's also got this really nice stage lighting, which I'm a big fan of, so if you're if, you, if it's a little darker early in the morning, you can still see how you're, everything you're working on down here, and I think it just looks really cool. Um, this machine also has more programmability, so you're gonna have pre-infusion that you can program, and then you're also going to be able to do volumetric programming on it as well, and then use the shot timer to help dial those things in. So a general overview comparison of these two machines on paper, you're gonna pay a little bit more for the Steel Duo, you're gonna get a little bit more in terms of programming options. Some of the fit and finish you might like a little bit more on this machine, that's more down to taste, uh, but you're going to get potentially a little bit better temperature stability on the Mio. So you're saving some money with the Mio and it's a little more hands-on, but you get a little bit more temperature stability as well. Uh, so at the end of the day, similar machines, some different features, it's gonna be down to you to weigh which of those things matters the most to you. Let's go ahead and make some drinks and we'll also take a look at the steam capabilities of both of these machines. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Escaso Steel Duo first. Uh, we'll try making a shot here. Get that, a little under 15 grams in. have this program for just about 13 grams out, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit the button here. That's the pre-infusion.
that's really good. Um, this is as, as high quality shot as you're going to get on any prosumer machine, in my opinion. Um, but again, if you really wanted to tease out some of the flavors of it, and you really wanted to make sure that you've always got that level of temperature stability, the insulated boiler is going to potentially offer better stability over making multiple shots and stuff like that. So. Very good though. So let's reset and then we will pull a shot on the Mio as well. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make just about the same shot on the Mio here as well. So right around 15 for that one as well. Get the shot distributed. All right, so we've got almost exactly the same shot times and everything for these two machines. So that is cool to see. Actually, I'm going to stop the shot just a little bit early, but it looks really good. So. Also super high quality. So it's almost hard to tell the difference with this particular coffee on these two machines. This is our crew brew, so it's a pretty... Um, standard medium blend that offers a lot of kind of classic coffee notes and is really easy to dial in and great for uh, evaluating machines. But what I can tell you is that with a coffee like this, these two machines have performed very, very similarly in terms of shot quality. So um, you can kind of take that as you will, but uh, the temperature differences between them are pretty non-existent when brewing in these conditions. If you were to brew shot after shot, I think that you would probably see better temperature consistency on the Mio. And, you know, conditions change from day to day, from, from coffee to coffee. So um, the general rule of thumb that that uh, insulated boiler is going to provide a little bit better stability than the thermoblock is going to hold true. But the Steel Duo, in this case, uh, they both brewed excellent shots. So I would be more than happy with either of these to drink in the morning. So let's take a look at the steam production next to each other and see how that looks as well. Okay, so again, the way that we are going to activate the steam on these machines, first, we're going to flip it on on the Mio. So again, you can turn this off if you wanna save a little bit of energy and you're not using the steam uh, in it. Because of the way that these thermo blocks are designed over here, you just have to flip the steam button on on the steel duo. So I'm gonna do that here. That's going to take a second to heat up. Do it over here. So we get a little bit faster steam production on the Mio. Fairly comparable between the two once they really get going. So once they get up to steam, they're going to both work pretty well. I like that the Mio's is a little bit more immediate if you have that, uh, that switch engaged. If you don't have it on, then you're going to have to wait for it to heat up a little bit, whereas with the Steel Duo, it, you don't have to remember to turn on a switch, but it's going to take a second for it to really start kicking that steam out, whereas the Mio is pretty quick if you have that, that uh, steam circuit engaged. So both pretty solid steam production. Both of these machines are kind of more espresso focused than milk steaming focused, but they both do a perfectly fine job of steaming milk if that's your thing. They're just a little bit different about how they get up to steam, uh, to full steam production. So I hope that helps with these two machines. Like I said, uh, look kind of similar, but pretty different. 
and they're both really great options. It just depends on what feature set matters to you more. You know, if you want to pay a little bit more and get that programming, then the Steel Duo might be the way to go. But if you want to save a little bit and get something that's a little more hands-on with that insulated boiler that uh, is really high quality, then the Mio might be perfect for you. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave us any questions below, and get subscribed for more content on boat machines like this and these machines in particular. Thanks. Oh, yes.